What's your name? What's your occupation? Tyron Fox. Licensed funeral director and bomber. Own up first choice for mortuary service. So, what caught your eye in the funeral home industry or in the bombing industry, rather? Uh, I've always been interested in it ever since I was a little kid. Um, just the whole process around uh, around death and dying, and that that whole process. Um, and it basically cultivated me into who I am today. Um, just being able to to take someone's loved one after years of sickness and you know uh, traumatic. deaths and just just the way and, and and able to make that into something beautiful. What is what is first choice mortuary? So we're a embalming service, embalming transportation service. Um, so we provide services of embalming, refrigeration, um, transportation, storage, um, cremation as well to uh, funeral home clients. We only serve strictly funeral homes. We don't serve the public in any way. So, what? Um, how long have you been? How long have you been in the funeral home business? So I've been in the business uh, for about a little over about ten years. Um, started out with a couple of funeral homes in Yazoo City, and then uh, ended up going to mortuary school and got a couple of jobs in Jackson while I was in mortuary school, working for Greater Jackson Mortuary Service, as well as Jackson Memorial Funeral Services. What advice would you give someone uh, that's coming to the funeral home business and bombing business, funeral home business? What, what advice would you give somebody? The first thing in order to be in this business is you have to possess a passion. Um, if you getting into it for the money or whatever the case may be, this is the wrong profession for you. Um, because we're about service first and foremost. Um, just watching where funeral service has gone over the years, I'm not impressed. Um, because people are making it more so about a show um, and, and forgetting the real meaning behind what we do. We're ministry. Um, we're meant to to minister to the bereaved families during the most difficult times in their life. Not to use that to turn it into a show um, for other people to see and for us to get um, props or whatever the case may be. We're ministering. Um, we need to treat it as such. So you have to possess compassion. Um, you have to be willing to listen and to understand that sometimes people are going to take their grief out on you because you're the closest person to them at that moment. Um, so you have to be willing to kind of juggle multiple hats uh, because we're grief counselors, we're, um, you know, we're embalmers, we're funeral directors, of course. Uh, sometimes we may be, you know, a shoulder to cry on, a, ear to, uh, a listening ear to, to just somebody who needs to vent, you know. Um, so we wear multiple hats. We wear multiple hats. So at the end of the day, I know I have a job to do. Um, because you have people who basically entrusted the care and the preparation of their loved one into my hands. And I don't take that task lightly. Um, so mentally, if you allow the job to get to you, which I mean some days it will get to you, um, because we see all different types of cases. Um, we see people who die um, that that the death wasn't even meant for at that time. Um, people just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Um, we have children that, that are dying now at a tremendous rate. Um, and it's, it's ridiculous. Teenagers, young children, uh, and, and it's kind of hard to see sometimes because they haven't even had a chance to, to fully find out what life is about. 
Um, so it's 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 one of those things to where you have to put the emotional side of things in a box to be able to do what you do and do it successfully. Um, because if you let the mental side take over you, that's a real dark hole and, and it's very easy to go down sometimes. So, And I heard a voice from heaven say that if you should miss me from being down here and you can't find me nowhere to come on up to bright glory where I shall sit and I'll tell you my story of how I truly made it over. Good night, good night. We shall see you in that beautiful morning light.